Hi there, I'm Alvin Chan, I'm the Head of Analytics at WeJo. So I lead our operations in data science and architecture uh, whilst overseeing the life cycles of, of our various solutions. So today, autonomous vehicles, they, they rarely escape the headlines, whether that be for good or not so good reasons. But like with any emerging technology, bumps in the road are almost inevitable. It's what we do next that defines the future. So if you didn't already know, WeJo has a very active voice in this conversation with potentially game-changing contributions to bring to the AV table. And that's what I want to talk about today, the challenges that AVs currently face um, and the role of connected vehicle data, specifically WeJo's data insights in helping autonomous vehicles operate safely on our roads. Now, there's many recent examples where autonomous vehicles haven't performed in the way we've hoped. So take San Francisco, for instance, a, a, it's a real hotbed for the driverless car industry, but it's also where there's lo lots of AV incidents. So these could include, and do include, you know, autonomous vehicles suddenly and unexpectedly halting and stopping, causing blocked traffic, interfering with emergency services, and even injury. So other issues like unprotected left turns and the AV's performance around that raise doubts over the AV's ability to conduct you know, these types of maneuvers safely and whether they should be making them at all. So with these concerns in mind, most AV testing is still being conducted with a human driver present, ready to override the vehicle if needed. And in situations where there isn't a human driver to override, we, we see potentially dangerous incidents like those that we just mentioned. So, as the limelight homes in on the self-driving revolution, so do the critics. Now, a study by the UK's Department of Transport is showing that when self-driving vehicles reach the mainstream, traffic delays could rise by up to 85% from 2025 to 2060. This is based on the prediction that actually with autonomous vehicles that come out online, there'll be more cars on the road and the, you know, the ability to work or relax whilst traveling in a self-driving car means that occupants are more open to the idea or more amenable to sitting in traffic. So now developers are batting to overcome obstacles and the key question being asked is, well, in what conditions do autonomous vehicles tend to have problems? But maybe a more important question to ask is, what would a human do in these situations? And I believe that connected vehicle data has potentially answered. So connected vehicle data insights allow us to look at individual waypoints and see the split of real drivers' behaviors on the road. So for example, we can analyze with absolute accuracy how people make unprotected left turns, which could show that some people choose to make those turns at night rather than during the daytime when it's, the roads are busy and it's more dangerous to do so. Now, by going straight to the source of how human drivers behave in moving vehicles, we can offer valuable contextual information to help inform autonomous vehicle development and intelligence. What this will do is it will ultimately help AVs behave more like humans, especially in those crucial scenarios like traffic jams, emergencies, or, or things that are outside of um, you know, the, you know, the, the usual um, you know, range of behavior. So whilst advancement into sensors, LiDAR, radar, and cameras are ongoing, the data in the data an autonomous vehicle needs to analyze needs constant computing power and storage on a pretty large scale. You know, in fact, it's been um, touted that around eight hours of autonomous vehicle driving would generate around 30 terabytes, and you know that's around 3,000 gigabytes worth of data to um, you know to uh, you know for, for for people who may not be familiar with terabytes, and that's quite a lot. And Sensors and high performance computers are generally decreasing price, which means that challenges like this might be overcome um, in due course. Uh, but what if we also focused on what's happening on the roads beyond site? So built on WeChat's experience with it, around 18 billion daily data points and our combined 18 million um, connected vehicle data set, we're working on just that. So through our first of its kind autonomous vehicle operating system, or, you know, otherwise known as AVMS. So really the truth is, you can't train an AV system for every single road incident that could occur. So maybe the challenge isn't to solve that issue, but to understand where the incident happened in the first place and divert around it.
Now, by integrating live and historic connected vehicle data, WeJo's AVOS will provide autonomous vehicle developers, fleet operators, and leading uh, OEMs with unprecedented access and support with the insights and the vision to help AVs avoid road incidents entirely instead of looking to decipher them as they come into view. To me, this feels like an elegant solution. Now, as more OEMs enter the space, we face a fresh problem of vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle communication. Now, after all, each manufacturer or automaker has their own standard for how to capture and communicate data, as you'd expect. But with a universal API, with connectors to every OEM, we can standardize that data language so that each OEM has a common frame of reference to interact with each other on the road. In other words, they'll be seen from the same hymn sheet. Now, this will be made possible by combining our AVOS with Neuro Edge, a WeJo platform that will eventually filter data and reduces data overload to deliver faster, more cost-effective and sustainable vehicle communication insights. What it will also do is enable us to standardize language from different OEMs in an uh, un, in an understandable and architecture efficient way, primed for application by data professionals and easily accessible by analysts. So ultimately, we're supporting future autonomous vehicle development, testing and operation with the aim of reducing program development time for leading automakers and autonomous vehicle fleet operators on a global scale.